What's good, everybody? What's up, man? I am here. I am back uh, with some sad news that's making the waves on social media right now. Unfortunately, it was a if it involves a truck driver, and I believe it was a dispute over pay, over pay, man. Yo, welcome back to the Lockout Man Podcast Show. Thank you very much. I really do appreciate you guys tuning in. Check it out, man. Look, I, I just before I uh, get into the commentary and get into the uh, to the story. Look, all I just want to say is is stop playing with these drivers' money. Period. If they run the lows, pay them for the lows. That's it. There's no compromise. I run the loads, I get paid for the loads. In this unfortunate situation, this young man did the unthinkable, and and it was all because of what, it's my opinion, and I got one, and it's all because of money. Dispute over money, dispute over pay. There should not be no dispute over no type of pay or money at all if the driver did did the due diligence of delivering your loads. Look, this man Jeremy Spicer, right? He worked it. He worked for one company. They treat. They must have treated him some kind of way. So he went to another company. They treated him some kind of way, and then the last company he got treated some kind of way, and he just lost it. He just lost it. He went to three different companies to kill three different people. These black ops companies really need to stop treating these drivers this way. If you're going to bring them on to run the load, pay them for the load. Period. This needs to stop because black ops companies does this all the time. They play with people's money. They really do. They play with people's money, and unfortunately, they play with the right one today. But keep playing with the money, and they're going to catch another one. And going to be another Spicer that's going, that, that's going to risk it all to make a point and demand, that, demand their respect and their pay. Just saying. I'm just saying, this man was disrespected by three different companies. Three different companies. And one of those companies I have called. One of those companies called EGOT, if I'm not mistaken. I called that company and had a chat with, with their recruiters. I got a link, I got to link that to, to the description so you guys can listen to the conversation. If I'm not mistaken, all right, I got to go back and check it out. But Jeremy Spicer shot and killed his boss, Nicola, Nick Nicolo, Nick Nicola, I can't pronounce his last name, at Winter Winner's Freight Wednesday morning. He did went he then went to another trucking company, Force Logistics, and shot a 31-year-old woman there. He was on his way to EGOT. Well, he went to EGOT. And when he got there, the owner there was not there. He said he was at the gym. So he went down the street to a to a business, went in there to use the restroom. The people there, you know, either they noticed them or they 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 felt some kind of way. They called the police. The police rolled up on them. They saw him with the gun. And after they saw him with the gun. Next thing they know, he took his life. Now I don't I don't know this man's background for him to take his own life. You know, maybe he came to the point of of no return. He came to the point of like fuck it. You know? And truck drivers unfortunately got that men that that mentality man you don't know what's be going through our heads 
That's why sometimes it's best to leave us alone and let us do what we do. But when you play with that money, when you play with that check, and you're supposed to pay them what you owe, and you play with it, then inspect some type of pushback from that driver. There's way too many black op companies that do that. And I, I have talked to plenty of drivers that has been disrespected more than once by these black ops companies. Not paying them everything they need, not paying them for the entire load, messing over here trying to say this, that, and the third, or whatever the case. Pay these people, pay us. That's all I'm saying. Pay us. Let's get to the, let's get to the story right quick. Tonight on the truck driver behind a deadly shooting rampage in the western suburbs. This new surveillance video shows the man walking just after shooting two former co-workers. CBS 2's Charlie Damar is live in Willowbrook where the gunman was staying. Charlie. Brad and Erica, good evening. It is business as usual here at the La Quinta Inn in Willowbrook, but police pretty quickly zeroed in on one of the rooms where Jeremy Spicer was staying. All they found was an empty holster, but tonight the ATF now involved trying to trace that gun that was involved in this crime. Tonight, new surveillance video shows Jeremy Spicer walking through the industrial park where he shot two co-workers in Burr Ridge Tuesday. Police say Spicer worked at Winner's Freight for about a week and was about to get fired over a work assignment and pay dispute. But before the shootings, police say Spicer, a truck driver, was staying at La Quinta Inn in nearby Willowbrook. The motel, apparently a popular spot with truckers, it's where Aaron Baker's been staying. I don't understand what would make somebody that crazy over something so petty as a load. That's no really, bro? Are you serious? You you did not just come out and say that out loud, right? You you don't know what made somebody go crazy over a load. If you're not getting paid, bro, you're gonna get you, you're gonna feel some kind of way. And this man got 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 had issues with three, not one, three. I can understand your point if it was just the one company, but this dude had issues with three companies over pay. And it was just to the point that he had enough. Come on now, you come on now, you could relate to that just a little bit, driver reason to take somebody's life and surely end yours. We always get told if you're that unhappy, go find another job. Spicer went into Yeah, so simple. So easy. I'm unhappy. I can find another job. I got my CDL. Of course I can find another job. It's just that easy. All I have to do is pick up the phone, call up a company. Hey, you need some help? I got a clean background or whatever the case. Get me in and boom. But when you get me in and start playing with my money, bro. You start playing with my money, bro. You don't do that. Now, unfortunately, you know, Jeremy took the route that he took. Maybe you wouldn't have take that route, but this man was to the point of no return. He, he had nothing to lose, period. To three separate freight businesses he used to drive for. First, he shot and killed his boss, Nikola Misovic, then shot a 31-year-old accountant before taking his own life. Sean Ahrens has developed guides and advises companies on how to safely fire people to avoid workplace violence while identifying the red flags, like Spicer's previous domestic battery charge in his home state of Arkansas. Looking at criminal history, I can't stress enough, there is no better predictor for future behavior than past behavior. Now, back in June, Schaumburg police had a run in with Spicer and the details very similar. It was an argument with a different freight company that Spicer was working for over the time. And that argument was over a payment. We are live tonight in Willowbrook. Charlie DeMar, CBS 2 News. Eric Real talk, everybody. And listen and 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 listen up. Um, listen up, uh, black ops companies. Um, Look, listen, hopefully you take this as a lesson, man. 
hopefully you, 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 you look at this as a serious thing and not play with nobody, no trucker's money. Hey, yo, lesson here, babe. You come at the king, you best not miss. Real talk, real talk, uh, black op companies. Again, like I said, I hope you guys let this be a lesson to you. You guys be out here cheating these drivers. We work hard for our money. We sacrifice a lot out here and go through, go through too much and, and we risk our own lives only to get played by you guys not giving us our money. This is a sad situation that you guys should really, really look, look at, man. Please, I implore you, stop playing with these truck drivers' money. They run the loads, they get paid for the loads. If you don't want them to work for you, pay them and say thank you and keep it moving. Now, it's just, this is an unfortunate situation for everybody that's involved. But I, I honestly feel Jeremy, if Jeremy hasn't been disrespected by all these companies that he worked for, I don't think he would have went down the route that he went. Let's get the conversation started in the comments below, guys. Let me know if I'm wrong or right. You know what I'm saying? Let me know. Let And I I already talked to uh to to some drivers that that had situations with companies of not paying them. But let me know what would you do? You know, if you get in a situation like that, I hope you won't take Jeremy's route, but let me know. Just give me some type of idea. You guys want to holler at your boy? You can do that. 216-600-2090. The best conversation starts here on the Lockout Man podcast show. Yo, I appreciate you guys listening. Thank you very much. Like, subscribe, comment, share, all that other good stuff. Stay tuned for the next video, and I will catch you later. Peace.